It is currently 5 to 8 in the morning. We have uh, Division Rival Awards, including and not limited to my own Road to Glory account, uh, Division Rival Awards this week. It's incredibly early and I feel like I'm back in school. However, we get rewards in about a minute. Less than a minute now, 59 seconds, and I'm very excited to open some rewards. We've got a few different rewards lined up to open today. I am absolutely shattered, so if we get anything good, I apologize already in advance if I don't react the way I should. If we get like an icon, and I'm, I'm like just like, yay, woo, hooray, I apologize. I'm just shattered. It is very, very early, and I got very, very little sleep last night. However, we get up and we grind. We, we wake up early for the cause. And probably not the smartest idea, honestly. Um, <coughs> anyway, <laughs> let's um, let's get ready to open these bad boys. I'm very excited. If you guys do go go on to enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new around here. I greatly appreciate the support. And uh, let's get into it. Have we timed this perfectly? We've got 11 seconds left. I didn't time the intro perfectly. Okay, we've got like nine seconds just to sit here and look at each other before we get to open these rewards. So, hey, how are you doing? How's your day been? Let me know in those comments down below. Yeah, there we go. Our rewards are finally available. So, we are starting off with uh, two, I think, two rare player packs and two mega packs. So, a very good start already. We'll take that. Um, I have no idea what rank George got. However, rank two. There you go. Rank two. I'm not sure which division either. I think it was division five or division four. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. However, let's go straight into it and start off straight away. With a Mega Pack, we do not mind opening Mega Packs on this channel. It's not a bad way to start our Thursday morning. We obviously get Foot Chats Rewards later on tonight as well. So stick around on the channel for that later on too. Because we'll be opening a bunch of Foot Chats Rewards as well. Um, so I'm excited to do that. So make sure that you're just you're, you're active on the channel and we'll, we'll definitely do that. So we start off with a bit of Alan. That's not too bad actually. Um, Alan, if you guys don't know, is incredible on this game. The way I look at players and the players I want to use is I go to Foothead and look at Foothead's Beast Rating. It's a, a thing on there that... That essentially rates players on a different way to the, that EA rates players. So, like, it takes in-game stats and gives it a rating based off of, like, just how beastly the card is going to perform in-game. And it's usually not wrong. And no, this video is not sponsored by Foothead or Beast Rating. And we do get a German centimeter. We get Kadira in the second part. 85 rated. That's actually not too bad. That's a decent little pull, that is. Not too shabby at all. We'll take that. So, 235k pack is down. And we've already packed an 85 rated Kadira. That is pretty nice. We get Pedro in the same pack as well. It's actually a solid card as well this year. Um... Not a bad start, but yeah, honestly, like, like, just if I were you, I'd check out the Fullhead Beast rating, and and I'd go off that if I if I were you. So, we have two rare player packs now. The first rare player pack. Here we go. Come on, EA, give us a walkout. No walkout in the first one. Can we at least get a board drop? It's gonna be a board drop. So that's good news. It's gonna be Spanish. That's not good news. It's going to be Gerard Moreno. Not a fantastic start, however. We move on. We're still hopeful for the second 50k pack. We've got more of those to come too. So hopefully, um, hopefully we can we can have a little bit more success with the future 100k packs. We get another Allen, and it's just an, an untradeable duplicate. So unfortunately, we have to go ahead and discard that. Okay, second rare players pack to conclude the rewards this week on George's account. Come on, no walkout. Wow, they've done him dirty this week. Not great at all. Not even a board from a 50k pack. That is highway robbery. That is disgusting. I am genuinely disgusted at that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? EA, you cannot do this to people. You can't give them rewards like, like an 83 and 85 for their hard work all week is not acceptable, EA. Come on. So, let's go straight and open some more rewards. Now for Liam's rewards. Now, Liam only got rank 3, but I said I'd have a look at them for him anyway. And we'd, uh, we'd open them up over here on the video as well. Um, just because I thought that it'd just be a fun little bit of content to throw in the video. Uh, four 15Ks and two Mega Packs, I believe. So, that's not too bad, to be fair, for rank 3 of, I think, like, Division 5 or Division 4. That isn't too bad, because you don't have to play too much. Uh, I think it's Div 5 that you go rank 3 in. And we already get a board in a 15K pack. It's going to be Spanish and not amazing. It's going to be a center mid. It's going to be Manu Trigueros. However, it's not 
it's not horrendous rewards because the thing is, if you're running like a Rotoglow, for example, and you get only rank three, you only put in a little bit of time to get rank three, you're getting all these consumables for absolutely free. You're getting a bunch of players that you can submit into future SBCs and make them just incredibly cheap. You potentially can get something good as well. I know last week I got a walkout from a 15k pack, so you could potentially get something really good there. He's already had a board drop in one of these rewards as well, so... They are decent rewards, and Anderson Taliska is a very good player to get in tradable if you've got a, a Roto Glory account. It's a great super sub, or even a great starter in the team. So, I think he already has him as well. Is it a tradable? It is a tradable. There you go. And uh, Villa Park, you can get discarded straight away. We have two more 15Ks, and then two more 35Ks, and then we're jumping over to PlayStation to open my Roto Glory account rewards, which I'm very excited to do. Um, no board drop, sadly, in the next 15K pack. It's going to be Uth. Or oof, should I say? Oof, that pack was awful. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not funny at all, am I? You, you can you can tell me it. You can tell me it to my face, my big boy. I can accept it. Um, okay, we've got three more packs to open though on Liam's account. Come on, EA, give us something decent. Give us something decent, please. Boards. It's a board drop. There you go. It's gonna be ah. You know it's going to be Montenegro. You just you just know who it is when it's going to be Montenegro flag. And it's going to be uh, Savage, sadly. However, it's still a board drop. And Giroud, not bad, 82 rated. It's There's still, you know, there's still half decent players that we're getting. So we'll take that from the 415Ks. Now we're on to the 235K Mega Packs. Let's quickly rip these bad boys open. Can we get a walkout in any of these? That would be exciting if we could. Sadly, we can't. Board drop at least. It's not going to be a board drop in the first one. It's going to be Ricardo Pereira, who, again, is another great player to get in tradable if you're running a Royal Glory account. It's not bad. It's not too shabby. It's decent. Um, no one else, sadly. Danny Rose is so bad in this game, by the way. Oh, we got a one-player pack, though, and that is tradable, too, which is good news. Um, he already has a Ricardo Pereira that's tradable, so he makes some coins there. Decent. Uh, he has a, a one-player pack. It's a one-rare player pack. It's a two-player pack, technically, though. Um, if we get a board drop with this, I'll be uh, quite surprised. Not even a rare player. There you go. Sadly. But that is a tradable pack still. That's It's, it's tradable. You know, he's got he's got a tradable Italian, two, Italian League two-player, so... Uh, not too shabby. Okay, we've got another 35k pack to open, though. Not going to be a walkout, sadly. But if we can get a board and maybe someone decent, that'd be good. It's a board job. That's good news. It's going to be French left wing. Martial. Very good player to get in tradable. He's worth quite a lot, I think. Um, I think he's still worth a pretty penny. That is actually really, really good. How much is Martial worth? 34,000 coins on Xbox. Still. There you go. That is actually really solid. So that's why I think that taking the untradable packs is definitely worth it. Um, you know, he's got a player. He's got Martial now. And that is genuinely like his entire coin balance right there. His entire coin balance right there in one player. So, and then I think, is this guy? Yeah, there you go. Got another tradable player in the, in the transfer list. So that is incredible. And he wanted me to quickly show you guys his two teams as well. These are the two teams he's built just from grinding the game and whatnot. Um, this is his main team, I think, or his Premier League team. Um, and then he also has, uh, I believe, he has another team here that what that did have Anderson Talisca and Ricardo Pereira in. So we've just then replaced two players in his team with the rewards, which is fantastic. So we'll stick Ricardo Pereira and we'll go and stick Talisca in there. Two solid teams as well. Uh, I know I know Liam grinds the game. He's not he's not been able to grind this week, sadly. Um, but I know that he grinds the game and uh, and two solid players there for his team. And he can get a few more coins in the key. So let's jump straight over to PlayStation and open the really important rewards. My Rota Glory account rewards. And here we are. The 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 most important rewards. My Rota Glory account rewards. We got rank two division four rewards and uh I was going to push on and try and get rank 1. I was only about 2,000 points behind rank 1. And I could have probably pushed on and got it. However, I'm not going to lie to you. For two prime gold players packs as opposed to two 15k packs, I don't see the worth in it. Because if we open these 15k packs, what I'll say is, all you need to get is, is what, three three rare players in both packs to, to equivalent to, to at least one prime gold players pack. In my opinion, is not... 
it's not worth the grind. So we started with Vass from uh, from the La Liga. Not actually too bad because we've got like a Rodrigo in the account and stuff we can use. So any uh, La Liga players are decent. We've got Alessandrini there too. Um, so it's not actually too bad of a, of a first pack. And there you see we have three rare players there. So it's, you know, it's not too different from like a prime gold players pack. And we get all of these consumables too. So in my opinion, it's way, way more worth it than wasting my brain away on this game against all the sweats that are playing on like Wednesday whatnot so that's why I didn't grind to get to get um rank one however let's see what we get in these packs and if we're rewarded at all um we get a Mukieli there from uh, from RB Lespig so not an amazing player however not too bad 81 pace for a center back is pretty decent um as we only get one rare in that pack so there you go um well, it's a nice kit, actually. You know what? I'm actually going to change that kit for that one. We're gonna we're gonna take that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. We'll uh, we'll discard the Sheffield Wednesday badge. Okay, so we've got two 35ks and two 50ks. We'll go start off with a 35k first. Come on, EA, give us something decent. It's not going to be a walkout. Can we at least get a board drop? It's going to be a board drop. That's good news. Come on, something good. French, left wing. I think I oh I already have Martial and trade well this count. Don't know. Oh, no. He's like a 40, 45k player on PlayStation. And although that's amazing, I already have Martial untradeable on this account. No, 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 no. That's not good. That isn't good. I mean, that's amazing, but it's not good for me. That is an amazing pull, but it's not good for me. Oh, that sucks. That that sucks. And I've already got a chem style and, and, and position changes on, on the Marshall that I've already got. So, uh, so it's probably worth me just straight up discarding this card. As you see, there we go. We have another 35k pack here, though. Let's open this bad boy. Come on, EA. Please, something decent. It's not going to be a walkout, sadly. Oh, inform, though. We've got an inform. That's good. It'll be Spanish. Cam, who's this? Who is this, actually? Who? Jesus Imaz. Definitely can already tell this guy doesn't go for anything. Doesn't sell for anything. However, it's an inform. Not bad. We'll take it. Have we got anything else decent in the pack? Maybe a cool 84? No, we don't. We have Seamus Coleman. Uh, who even is this guy? Three-star skills. 75 stamina. 75 strength. It's not looking good for this guy. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. It's just, just not a very good-looking card at all. Um, but luckily for us, we do also have weekend league rewards later on as well. I only got gold three, but... We're still going to open those later on as well. So, we have two 50k packs. First 50k pack, please. Give us something good. It's not going to be a walkout. It's board drop. That's good news. French. Left mid this time. Coleman. No, Ribery. Hey, I'll take that. <laughs> That's not bad at all, actually. I have a Lewandowski in the club, so that is not too shabby. Um, I might actually be tempted to try him out. I know he's only got 78 pace. But I might try him out. I was actually kind of hoping that'd be Coman, you know, because Coman's a beast on this game, in my opinion. But still, 85 rated rubber. He cannot complain with that. That's very decent. That is very decent. We've got a dupe Alessandrini, a dupe Milivojevic. I don't know if that's a correct pronunciation, but not a bad card. 59 stamina, 60 strength, 59 aggression, 34 jumping. Great. So the physical stats are looking amazing already. <laughs> um, we'll take it anyway. We'll, we'll take it. We'll just store it in the club if we need to. Uh, and we'll move on swiftly from that. Last 50k pack. EA, please. I beg. Please, EA. Give us something decent. Please. Please. It's not a walkout. Come on. It's another inform. Don't be the same guy and I'll be happy. Oh, f oh thank God. I thought it was going to be the same dude then. I was going to be so mad. I was going to be so mad. Okay, we've got another inform, so we'll take it. It's another untradeable inform. So essentially, we have 20,000 coins of untradeable value there. So that's not too bad. Uh, if we if we do get an SPC, he's going to be very useful for it. So I'm happy with that. Um, anything else decent in the, in the in the pack? Raul Albio, 84. Anderson Taliska is not bad too. Zaha, Zaha is decent as well. We'll take that. So that is not bad. That is pretty successful, actually. Um, Zaha's decent. Anderson Taliska is pretty good. Raul Albiol is not too shabby, although I do have his Champions League version. Uh, Roussillon's decent as well. Roussillon's a very good player in this game. Um, you know what? We'll store that. That's not, that's, that was a pretty decent pack. Truthfully, whenever I get board drops or whenever I get informed stuff like that, the player I'm always looking out for to get on the other side is Hyung Min Son. That is the one player I'm always very hopeful to get. We didn't pick, we didn't pack him, but you know what? It's not too bad anyway. Um, we do have some decent players in the club now that we can, uh, we can 
Becky sticking to the teams. And uh, I do have two teams on the Road to Glory. This is a little bit of a spoiler if you guys haven't seen the latest Road to Glory episode. Um, but these are the two teams that we are currently rocking. This is why I was thinking maybe we could get Ribri in here and get Rusi on at left back. Uh, but you know what? I don't, I'm not going to break my back to try and get them in. I'm going to be honest. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to break my back trying to fit them in. However, did we get any prem centre backs? We didn't really get anyone decent though. There. It's not too bad though, I guess. Um, and then we have, of course, the 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 concept squad of the the second squad, the 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 fitness squad. There we go. Couldn't think of the word. Don't think I've got anyone for this squad either. Uh, let's have a look at. First of all, we'll go Calcio away and see if we've got anyone from the. Oh, sorry, the Serie A even. Did we get anyone for the Serie A that we can add in? We got Rugani that we could potentially add in. Um, decent looking card as well. I'm going to sneeze in a second. So, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I just sneezed off camera. All right. I, I, I'm going to admit it right here, right now. I just sneezed completely off camera. I just sneezed my absolute brains out. So I could stick Rugani in here and get the 20,000 20, extra coins for Banasia. However, Banasia, in my opinion, is a lot better. So I'm going to keep Banasia there for now. Aside from that, no one really that can improve the squads, but we did get some really cool super and stuff like that. If you enjoyed this episode, this episode of the Rotor Glow, what am I on about? If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below. Thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed the rewards and I'll see you lads later.